is the Tokyo Banner 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Banner 23, no sneaker channel days. I come at you with daily content, daily videos, daily sneaker news from Tokyo, Japan, where I live right here, right now. Every single day bringing you content. And today I'm bringing an absolute banger of a sneaker. It's extremely rare and it's selling this week. It's the Reebok Insta Pump Fury Prototype. As I said in the introduction, this is all about the Reebok Instapump Fury prototype, which is going on sale this week on Friday, the 22nd of March. Konsu Kinyobi, Niju Nini, Chihatabashimas. They're bringing out this sneaker this week to mark the 25th anniversary of the Instapumps going on sale. And it was a sneaker before its time when it came out in 1994. It looked really funky, it looked futuristic, but now we're here in the future, and this sneaker, I say, is of its time right here and right now. So it's a great Great time to bring out the prototype, great, great time to bring out a rare few number of these sneakers, very few number, which I'll be talking about in today's video. Kono sneaker wa Nihon demo sugoi ninki ga arimasu no de zehi kono video o mite kudasai. And sometimes, as I am here in Japan, I do like to slip into Japanese, which I did just then, you might not have noticed, but I'm sure you did. Uh, but I do like to slip into Japanese because I want to keep it bridged between those overseas sneaker heads and the Japanese sneaker heads right here in Japan. So, without further ado, let's have a look at this sneaker. I did say that. It is the 25th anniversary of the Insta Pump, and there are going to be a very few number of these dropping. The first thing that you need to know is that the Insta Pump came out for the first time in 1994, and this Insta Pump Fury prototype that's going to be dropping this Friday, Friday the 22nd of March, uh, this Friday, there's only 1,994 pairs available worldwide. I think I'm right in saying worldwide because they're numbered. That's right, these guys are going to be numbered inside. Uh, the sneaker there's going to be a number that says well I mean as you can see from the screenshot up here I think it says 000x on there I think it'll say 000x I'm right yes 00x of 1994 or slash 1994 so to recognize the year that these guys first dropped they're only making 1994 pairs of these guys so they're going to be extremely rare uh, and extremely hard to get a hold of and extremely hard to keep a hold of Kono sneaker wa rare no de sen 994足しか売れないのでしか発売しないのでぜひ欲しい人は金曜日22日ぜひあの頑張ってください 買う人はね、その世界中にせんに900、94足しかないので買えるかどうかわかんないんですけど、東京バタ23を買ってみるので、そっちに買ってみたい人は頑張ってください。so they're numbered on the inside to mark that the 25 years since 1994 when these guys first dropped just 1994 pairs going on sale which is quite incredible but it is an iconic sneaker and it is an iconic look for a sneaker and to me what makes this sneaker amazing is actually what is not there as opposed to what is there and there are three things that I want to talk about in that department now the first thing we're going to talk about is the obvious that the laces are not there it's the insta pump and I remember when these guys came out the first time all of the Reebok pumps and it was the idea was that you could just put your foot in slide your foot in, and then you just pump it up and it will give you that solid sort of lace feel without actually having laces on it and everybody was like really is that gonna work is that really gonna be the next evolution from laces but that was 25 years ago and now they've perfected that technology and it really is a good fit a snug fit and they are incredibly popular here as they are in uh, many places across the world so the first thing that is not there is laces which is replaced front and center right there on the where the tongue would be if these guys had a tongue front and center you've got the pump for inputting the air itself and then the valve for letting the air out so that you can get your foot out of the sneaker so that's the first thing that's not there which is distinctive about the sneaker the second thing that's not there is in that upper you can see that there are panels missing you can look right through from the medial side to the lateral side on these sneakers uh, and they have that bright citrus coloring and uh, the reds on there really really pops on its colorway I really like the colorway itself great balance of the colors but in that upper the thing that's uh, interesting is the bit that's missing and that's that panel on the side there that helps you look right through the sneaker again it was unique back in 1994 futuristic looking and here we are in the future and I think it looks great for this day and age and the final thing that's missing on the sneaker is the midfoot outsole I've always thought it was cracking to have these sneakers with just what looks like the forefoot and the heel section of the outsole and then a whole chunk missing right through the middle but it works uh, and it really works because 
because the rest of the sneaker is missing parts as well. So you've got three bits top to bottom of the sneaker, the lace is missing, the panel on the side missing, and the midfoot outsole missing as well. So it's an incredible looking sneaker from the point of view of what's missing on it. And that is what I think makes these an iconic sneaker. And there's only 1,994 of them available on Friday. I'm gonna try and get my hands on a pair. This is the first Reebok review I've ever done for this channel. I'm, I'm gonna try and get my hands right on these guys if I can. Uh, but I don't think I'll be able to, of course. I don't think uh, many people out there will. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on these guys, please let me know in the comments down below. If you would like to get your hands on these, please also let me know in the comments down below. It is the first Reebok review I've done for the channel. So if that's your kind of thing, if you're into your Reebok also, please let me know and I'll do more of these in the future. But for today, that's it. The Reebok Instapump Fury prototype. Uh, it's coming out Friday. Make sure you get there uh, online and try and get your hands on these. I think they're only dropping online. I don't think they're dropping in stores. And if you want to get your hands on them, you've got to be clicking real fast early in the morning. Good luck to you out there if you're looking for those sorts of things. I'll be trying myself as well. I'll be back tomorrow for another video, which is always on Tuesday, the Tuesday Top 10, when I continue my countdown of things to help new YouTube channels with their creation and their content. If that's not your thing, I'll see you on Wednesday when, uh, gosh, what am I doing on Wednesday? Is it the 312 Legacies, I think, is what I'm going to look at. The Nike Air Jordan 31 Legacy 312 Lows, uh, I think, is what's coming on Wednesday. So if it's sneakers you're after, I'll see you on Wednesday. If it's content you're after, I'll see you tomorrow. Either way, I'm here every single day, and I will definitely see some of you tomorrow.